The number one reason why you shouldn't start a cargo van business is because, let's just face it, it's DK and I'm back with another video. Put me on your big screen Vizio or Samsung. But either way go, we about to go out here and get these funds. Hey, shout out to everybody at Sunrun. Now, we do have two orders. We're about to go out here and get an order. The first order is coming from the carrier company. We're going to drive 56 deadhead miles, 7 miles loaded, so 63 miles all together for 140 shorty, let's go. And just like that, we here now, you old news. Got a couple push trucks, a couple old schools. We here at the pickup to get bucks. See if they got this joint ready. We actually are early. It is actually 7, 737. 737, 3 and 737. We're supposed to be here till eight. But my guy's here. Good morning, how you doing? Okay. Um, I have a load to pick up to go to NCI's graphic specialist in Waukesha. Pallet number one. Pallet number two, what it do? Thank you very much, so you have a great one. Yeah, y'all see us. <coughs> y'all see us, do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. We already get it all, I have to get off that hill. But it's, it's critical, that hill is super high. I don't know if y'all can see it back there. That joint, Superman, uh, uh, Superman. Uh, that's one, uh, and that's two. And just like that, we gone. It's time for us to pull up and get it on, let's go. The man with the plan, how you doing? How we doing, boss? I'm doing great. Okay, we got two? Yes, sir. Right. So is there anyone ever right here? This is a maintenance shop. Uh-huh. So normally they're fixing what they didn't fix the first time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So yeah, I mean, the way you did it is pretty much the way. Right. Call my number. Um, and, yeah, and see, on this paperwork, it has a different number. So it took me a while, I had to go through all my my, uh, my phone calls for the last week to find you. But I found it and I saved you now, so I ain't gonna look at yeah, it again. It'll Never be again. Tough. It'll always be me. These joints, super light. I'm gonna push it up so it can be nice and easy for them. Uh, there we go, baby. Pallet number two. Yeah, I pushed it. This, that's all he's like. Trying to get right. I've been having this guy the last three days coming on the van. Uh huh. He's some. He's from Chicago. He's some like he must be Eastern European. Uh -huh. You know, like guy being yes, 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 no, no. <laughs> no dude, you're <laughs> distracting me, man. I got, I got, I got an idea. Yes, he and yes. he wants you to hit his stuff, hey. Oh, his but you, a wreck. But you all look. You the one of the best fork drivers I've ran into, I honestly. That, man. Yeah, seriously. You don't even touch the van at all. You never even touch it. I, I touched it because he's like, yes, yes. <laughs> it's through you all. Like, like, there you go, bud. That's, yeah. Right here? Oh, you can just sign at the bottom right here. Okay. Right down there. And I'm going to give you that copy. I'm going to take a picture of the other one. This, because they only gave me one copy. It's all good, though. No problem. Order number two. Put up to Lowe's is what we about to do. We got to order on Frank. We about to get to this money don't hate. We about to get to this money don't hate. And it's, it, look, it's up for debate. I'm going to tell you guys why. This is low-key kind of skeptical, but hey, we're going to see what happens. Now, again, the pickup location is Lowe's. They're saying we're supposed to pick up 700 items that weighs one pound. We're supposed to drive 11 miles for 59.20. Now, this is the killer part about it. The reason why I chose this order, or I picked this order, is because... It's saying that everything is in the side of a locker. 
and I don't see them putting 700 one pound items inside of a locker. I mean, the locker can't be that big. Even if it was a school locker, I still don't see them putting 700 pounds in there. That's the reason why I took the order, but it's time for us to pull up and try to get in order. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at Lowe's. Let's go. This one is something different I've never seen before. It's gonna have to go to a locker. I don't know where this locker is. They come to the main entrance and go to this locker and put this code in and open this joint. I don't know. How you doing? Um, I have a freight order to pick up. It told me to go to a locker. I don't know. Oh, this right here? Mm -hmm. Oh. Huh? Is that yeah, I got a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's right. It's called Cars and Cribs. The best thing on YouTube, Cars and Cribs. Cars and Cribs. Cars and cribs. Okay. Check it out. Oh, this is right here. I walked past. I saw a twig. Pick up. Let's put this code in. Y'all can't see the code because y'all know y'all might try to come in here and take somebody up top. We in the game, coach, y'all see it. Yeah. This is all we getting right here. They said this was 700 pounds. We ain't playing around. Let's go. How you doing? Hey, it's a little nippy out here today. This is it? Yes, sir. This is all he gave me. I take a photo of it. Get it with the photos. Man. That's it. This is all he gave you? Yeah, this is all he gave me. It, they told me to go in the locker and take that out. So it was in a locker. I'm not sure if more stuff is going to be coming today. I'm not sure. Okay, it must be. Yeah. But it just came on the app for me and I just accept it and then I'll just bring it here. All right. All right. Thank you. It. You have a good one. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know why you're here. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it G real with you, cuz. The number one reason why you shouldn't start a cargo van business is because, let's just face it, you're lazy. You're lazy. You don't want to really do no work for real. You're lazy. That's it, that's it, that's all. And I understand right now, if you're offended about what I'm saying, then that means that I'm talking to you. You're lazy. Let's just face it. Now, let me give you some reasons why you're lazy and how I know you're lazy. Number one, you do not want to do any research. You don't want to put no time in to do any research. You just want to go on YouTube, look at a video, and then think you're going to get a cargo van, and you're going to run off, you're going to do all this stuff. That's number one. Number two, I'm giving you the game on the channel. All you got to do is click the video, watch the video to get the game, but you don't even want to do that. You just want to come on the video and then type, what is the app? I gave it to you, the, the app in the video. You just didn't watch it because you're lazy. You ain't got no time. You, you don't want to waste no time. And then number three, guess what? You think it's gonna happen overnight and it's not. You think you're gonna just waltz up, get the van, go out there and get busy, and then, and then hold on, wait. Not, not only that, you say, no, I ain't even gonna do that. I, I got a better idea. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get a van and I'm gonna hire a driver. No, you're not. You wanna know why you're not gonna do that? You're not gonna get a van and hire a driver because they don't wanna work for nobody either. The same way you don't wanna refer for nobody, they don't wanna work for nobody. You think there are some shortcuts to being successful and there's zero shortcuts. Yeah, I know, I know, so-and-so caught on late, they got the PPP loan, they went over here and did that. Hey, how long did that PPP loan last? How long did it last? There is no shortcuts in being successful. It's not gonna happen. I don't care who tell it to you. I don't care how many uh, hacks and all this you think you're gonna do. You're not gonna do it, it's not gonna happen. It might happen for a little bit and then it's gonna be gone. They say what come easy don't last long. And this is a fact. You're gonna have to put a lot of work in and it's gonna take you some time. Shout out to my guy, Big CJ, shout out to my guy Pat Gatamin, shout out to my guy Saint Mike 504, shout out to every gig user, shout out to everybody out there who doing their thing. They understand exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just telling, I'm just here, to, I'm the messenger. I'm just telling y'all the truth. A lot of y'all is lazy. Y'all ain't really like that for real. You ain't never really got, went out there and delivered nothing. You ain't really got went out there and got busy. You, they ain't, they ain't what you've been doing. And if I offended you by saying this, then it's definitely not for you because you wanna know why? In business, you have no time to use your emotions. In business, you can't use your emotions. Because if you use your emotions, you're gonna make bad decisions. So if I offended you by saying this, then that means that I'm talking to you. And that means that you shouldn't start. Because with this, if you use your emotions, you are gonna to continue to do stuff that does not make sense. I'm telling you right now. And also, you know, you know what they say, it's an old saying, if, if you're young, you don't know. If it don't apply, let it fly. So if you ain't let it fly and it apply, then that means that you and your feelings right now, you need to get out your feelings so you can go out there and get this money. Money don't got no feelings. Money goes to wherever it wants to go. Money goes to whoever attracts the money. Now, if nothing I said offended you and you got past that part, that means you all, you might be ready to go. I got some game for you though. What I recommend is this. 
First off, find you a smaller company to work for. The reason why I say a smaller company versus a bigger company is because at a smaller company, you're gonna have more access to the business owner. And your whole job is to do this. Go in there and make money. And while you're making the money, get in tune with the business owner. Find out what they're doing. You need to learn everything about, that you can about business because you're planning on starting the business. Now, on top of that, you need to be saving up your money if you do not have any money saved up. Save your money, and if you can, if this job offers delivery service, you can do that, or you can go ahead and do some deliveries in the meantime, in between time, when you're getting off work. When you're getting off work, you need to be going out there and doing DoorDash, doing all these, doing all these delivery, different delivery services that you can. I know you may say, but I'll be tired when I get off work. But I just, hey, if you're tired and all that stuff, you can't handle it, then it might not be for you, because this takes a real grind. It takes a real grind physically and mentally. So I need you to do that so you can know if you're ready for this business or not. These are just my suggestions I recommend that you guys do if you really want to start this business in 2024. Just know it's not the same as working a job. It's not even comparable. It's not even close. It's, it's, not, even, it's not even the same world. It's like day and night. So make sure you think about that before you run out there and try to get that band. Hey, it all comes with time and you definitely going to have to grind so you can shine. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh yeah, today we made one, $199.20 when I didn't got that money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to throw them fees up. And stay tuned and stick around, because we ain't playing around. Because all 2024, all we're doing is pull up the scope. Uh, get it popping like Crisco. I will see you guys on the next one. Be going, be going, be flowing. You already know it, DDK. And I'm on my way.